So in meeting with a lot of the Burning Man people, um, making networks and friends along the way, this is basically how it came together with the Ripple team. And the Ripple team was selected to do the uh, eco-friendly change for uh, Fly Ranch outside of Gerlach. And so <clears throat> as part of their plan and proposal, they also wrote in a small grant for the museum to install what we call initially a medicine garden and looking at our traditional medicines because we believe <clears throat> and our elders tell us if we don't use our medicine plants, they're not going to be here for us anymore. They're just going to go away. And um, so it's important to do that. And when COVID happened a couple years ago, we saw where people started recognizing the importance of our native plants, our medicine plants for doctoring and healing and also building immunity. And so with that faith and belief in what Creator gave to us, you know, we um, still utilize our native plants for, for healing and we don't want to see where those become uh, commercialized, you know, as caretakers and stewards of the land, you know, it's our responsibility to, you know, take care of these plants and not only that, but to educate others about them because they have many uses as food, as medicine, shelter, um, you know, just different things uh, like that clothing. You know, a lot of these natural plants out here, you know, were used to the bark, you know, would be used for shoes or clothing. And so we give thanks today for, you know, having that available. I want um, Janet to say a few words and then a couple of the team members, if you can do a brief uh, history, because we want to become, we want the community to be familiar with you um, because we're going to continue this on. At home, I design native plant gardens uh, and I have a company called So Harmony that helps people grow the native plants and become more a part of their natural environment and care for the planet around them. Because I believe the plants have a lot to teach us about ourselves and our place in the world. And I think I can speak for myself and for the whole Ripple team when I say that we care deeply about this planet and all of our family on it. And we want to be able to help one another. And we see this project as a way that we are all helping each other. And I'm honored to be here today and to be standing next to you all as we begin to create this garden here, which will educate everyone who comes to see it and uh, make this world a more beautiful and harmonious place for us to live in. So thank you. When I heard about the garden, I said, that's wonderful. That's such good news. And from there, you know, building that bond. We also had a local planning team. So I want to uh, acknowledge them, uh, Dean Tonina, Teresa Wright, Nick Witch Wright, uh, Nick Cortez, Susie Albright, along with myself and, you know, everybody contributing. And uh, right now with, when we get the signage for the trees and the plants, they'll be in Paiute first, the common names that we know them by, and then scientific names. And this is only our first phase. This is our mountain plants. We have two other phases, which are our wetland plants, and then we have the desert plants. And it's been really good for me to <clears throat> meet through Zoom because most of the main planners, they come from the East Coast. And I think that's pretty awesome, being able to develop a plan, but being very detailed oriented and uh, just very organized, so I really appreciate that because that's how I like to work. I like to be organized and, you know, not just one person trying to do everything, but sharing the load and, you know, working together. So I'll turn it over to Jen. Good morning, everyone. I'm <laughs> grateful that you're all here. I'm the chairwoman, Janet Davis, of our tribe here. I welcome you all, and I am 
happy to see all of you come together and help us with this plant, um, join the plants. Um, as Billy said, they're very important to our culture. And with what you're doing, we're going to be able to pass along to future generations to let them know, you know, what is available and what to choose for. So I am grateful that you have worked with Billie Jean, and I'm glad that she's able to reach out and you all come together to help us out in that way. Thank you all for being here this morning. And I'm glad to see some of our community members here as well, sharing and starting out with the first phase. And hopefully as we move on, we will have more community members up here helping you all do what is important to our community. So thank you for being here this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to...